Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about all the new changes in the iOS 18 developer beta 4. Also, I'm going to talk about the battery life and the performance. And I will also show you a Geekbench score since I'm using iOS 18 developer beta 4 for from last 24 hours. So let's start with the changes. So for, if I go to the settings over here, and the iCloud option is now available. Before this, it was option used to be in this section, but now the section of iCloud is changed, and now it is available in the on the main page of settings, as you can see. If I go to the app library over here, go all the way down, the hidden folder, the design and the UI of the hidden folder is also changed in the developer beta 4. If I go to here and search the stocks application, the icon of the stocks app is also changed a bit now it is more better it is more clearer than before if i go to the control center over here the icon some of the icons are more better they are more enhanced a little bit changes in the ui but they look much better these are some of the changes available with the ios 18 developer beta 4. now we all know that from when since the ios 18 is out the screen time was not working but finally now it is working as you can see whenever i used to tap on the screen time section the phone stuck but now it is not stucking it is working properly as you can see so yes it fixed the screen time issue finally in the beta 4. if you go to the home page go to the jiggle mode going into the edit section customize over here before this automatic button was not working but now if i tap on this automatic section the icon changes its color according to the dark mode or light mode it was also not working before but now it is also working so these are some of the things that have been changed and fixed finally in the ios 18 developer beta 4. now let's go to the geekbench score i want to show you the geekbench score this is the iOS 18 developer beta 4 Geekbench score 2289 on a single core while 5576 on a multi core. If I compare this score with the beta 3, the beta 3 scores were better. They were 2319 on a single core while 5594 on a multi core. But in the beta 4 score are slightly down but there is no issue with the performance at all. Everything is working really really good. No issue with the performance, nothing at all. Now since I'm using it from last 24 hours, I also want to show you the battery life so you can have the better idea that how the battery of the iOS 18 developer beta 4 is performing. So going into the settings, going to the battery section over here, let the battery stats load last 10 days. This is the first day when I use the iOS 18 developer beta 4. As you can see, I used my phone for around exactly 75% according to this graph as you can see. And the screen on time is 7 hours and 11 minutes according to this graph. Now, if I show you, I used Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, Netflix, photos a bit, YouTube a bit. This is how uh, the day went. And using 75% and getting 7 hours, 11 minutes screen on time, actually it is better than the beta 3, which is a really good sign. It also means that battery health, the performance of the battery, is improving by coming by coming of every other beta which is really good sign so we can expect to see a stable beta very soon definitely well this is all from this video which ios version you are using let me know in the comment section below how the ios is performing for you how is the battery life how is everything going let me know in the comment section below well i'm definitely looking forward to come up with a more review video so you can have better idea about the performance of the ios 18. well i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out